Good afternoon, Commanders. Welcome to my channel. I don't post a whole lot, but when I find stuff that's interesting, I will put it online. And um, there's a Thargoid invasion in multiple systems. They're in every, whether it's the Empire, Federation, or the Alliance. I believe there's five, six systems that the Thargoids have started to step on. So we need to go in and fight them. I thought it'd be fun. Try to, you know, I've never really did a um, Thargoid build per se. So I ordered in a bunch of ships. Yeah, you know, I tried the Clipper, tried the Viper, tried the, um, you know, a lot of, I don't know. I can't think of all the names of them. This system is crawling with Thargoids. If we don't push them back, we'll be overrun. Think you can handle it? Oh, well, we can handle it, girl. Don't worry about that. Alright, dog. I'm getting it right now. So, I tried the Clipper. I tried the Courier. Good to have I you tried... Um, oh! What is it? Why is this guy not moving? What's the deal? you weird let's go boss so what I found out is that I like to fight with the, the object in my windshield oh man just like you see in the fight right now oh yeah, oh, yeah. we're gonna handle this caustic damage so through my time in playing dangerous. I have collected Thargoid weapons from planets. I'm sure some of you guys have as well. Now I've also seen different limpets and stuff that I wanted to buy. That, you know, they were exo limpets for Thargoids. I mean, and using your store is immensely important. Let's go, man. Shoot this son of a bitch. Oh, I got, I got turbo weapons on here. Sorry. Really. I was wondering why I was working. Ripping them apart. So, I've tried different ships. I had the Federal Assault ship. I hated it. Because, you know, the hard points are on the bottom. There's three hard points at the bottom now. As you can see, I like to keep the thing in my windshield. And with the Python, you have four hard points. Two Class 3s and two Class 2s on the top of it and then you have one class three on the bottom so you have five hard points most these ships have four and when you have you're doing a thargoid fight all right i gotta i gotta turn this off for a minute let's see here what, what are we doing let's go i gotta get this i gotta get this deacon i gotta take and get this deacon Contamination thing off me. So I got this Exo Limp. It's on my, on me. Caustic substance neutralized. Th that that helps a lot. Drone. Drone successful. Great shift anomaly detected. Uh oh. So you have to be pretty quick about what you're doing here. There's no fucking around. And these stupid Thargoids are on you. But you can repair, as I'm showing you. Successful. Okay, whatever, bud. Let's just keep it together here. If you put anything in your targeting, these contamination and repair drones do not work. So, I'm going to get back on my weapons here. I'm going to put this dude in my sights. I'm gonna light them up, and we're gonna start fighting again. So, if you're gonna go fight Thargoids, these just decontamination limpets and the repair limpets are freaking really important. And yeah, baby, this 
ship is a ripper boy. It kicks th some Thargoid ass. Now, another thing too is regards to rep and influence. You know, all of these systems, whether it's the Alliance Federation, Empire, whatever, whoever you're trying to build rep points for, you know, it's boring to do all the southern courier missions, passenger missions at Remigo Mine, and all this crap. Oh, they might be telling this python is a beast. Thargoid fight. I'll show you my build, but I got basically um, multi cannons on two threes and two twos with a Thargoid torpedo on the bottom. And yep, it just rips these dudes up. So, oh boy, this is no good. Because they shoot like an EMP and kill your damn ship. And you're about to see it. There it is. We're done. Oh, I, I got through that. Oh, that's cool. Goodbye, my friend. Dumb little Thargoid. Don't want to fire on the wrong dude. It's big problems for your for everything that's going on for you. You're like an eight hundred dollar bounty, you gotta go serve prison time. And you gotta get kicked out of the system and everything if you shoot on the wrong target. And it's pretty easy to shoot the wrong target. It's a while with all this stuff going on. The second, oh damn, I'm telling you. Whipper. So, the second you start to see the bigger ships, get the hell out of the system. That's my theory. Go to another conflict zone. Oh, come on, babe. See you later. The Python is solid, you know. You get some good armor on, you know, get a ship that's got good armor that you like to fight with. I, I just like to see out of a bunch If you like to blow you, that's good, whatever. You get some different shit. But what you do is you go into the system and wherever the main hub is, you gotta because you gotta, gotta have repair limits to do this. Or you gotta have limits. Oh boy. See, that's the big ones. We want to get the frick out of here. We're out of here. See the see on my radar there's the circle. The second you start seeing those, you need to pack up your equipment and you need to leave the system. Because they're gonna blow your ship. These little spinny things with all this bullshit behind them, see down on the on the radar down there? Those things they destroy your ship quick. All right, so that little set there, I got 740,000 on that deal. Okay, cool. Now I'm just gonna look for another conflict zone, wherever that might be. Everyone's got all these carriers in here, so you have a hard time finding stuff. But it usually says AX on it, so. And then they, of course they got all their carriers named AX so that you can go there. Anyway, okay, conflict zone. Then we'll go to this one. So now I'm at 98%. So typically, what I would do is I would just slow down, get out of jump. I 
And then I'm gonna do a, I got, I'm gonna do a quick repair. I'm not contaminated at this time. But if you fly through their wake, you you get this material on your ship and it starts to, you know, your percentage of your um your ship that before it blows up, it just keeps going down. So if you don't have these decontamination drones, you got to go back to port somewhere that can repair your ship or a carrier or something before you blow up. Successful. Okay, we're back to 100%. Good deal. Cannot comply. Frame shift drive charging. Now. Four, three, two, one, engage. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm just looking at my um, multi cannon bullets. And I got 1,500 left out of 2,100. So when I get down to about 300 bullets on in those guns, I go back to port. And prior to going to the conflict zones, I do like a couple uh, delivery missions, cargo, to the smaller ports, the medium-sized ports. And then they have um, missions for, you know, killing Thargoids. If you kill Thargoids, they give you, you know, 600, 800, 900,000 points or credits or whatever. And there's multiple small uh, stations within each infected system. So, not only are you getting the bounty points, you're also, you know, I'm going to clear these 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 Thargoid missions, which you know that was 530,000 just for the, killing however many Thargoids they wanted to kill there. So, and this gives you big influence and rep inside each one of those systems. And it's usually one or two of the small, medium-sized ports that have these missions for the the Thargoid killing missions. So not only do you know, want to get you know, the, probably like close to two, three million dollars for going out and emptying my guns on these conflict zones. Then I'll get another two or three million credits for uh, the missions at the medium bases to kill Thargoids. And as I look at, I'll show you my rep here. Right? Get out of this. But. I was at 81% on my federal rank, and now I'm at 92, and it's just from killing Thargoids, not... So I'm up 12%, if we don't push them back, we'll be overrun. and I've only turned in six, six, of these, uh, six of these missions so far. Alright, back to killing our Thargoids, friends. So... Yeah, so I think it's a pretty good way to build reputation and influence. It's not the greatest money maker. Hold on, I don't know. Well, I didn't mind. Good to have you on the team. Let's kill some Thargoids. But if you, it's not a good money making proposition. If you, when those round people, the big ones show up with their missile friends, you know, and they blow up your, you know, I don't know, $7 million deductible to $20 million deductible ships, that's bullshit. These, the, 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 the two class three multi-cannons on the top are essential. The, the class twos don't do a whole lot, but the class three multi-cannons, they fucking kill Thargoids.
The other thing too is, like, let's say you've got all these thyroid weapons. And then you're like, oh, I'm gonna get my Anaconda or Corvette out with 10 different... Ten different things on it, well, you know, weapon mounts, hard points, and I'm gonna blow the shit out of this stuff. Well, okay, great. Well, they only allow you to utilize four Thargoid weapons. You, I got five hard points on this thing, and I have five Thargoid weapons in my inventory, but I can only put four on the ship. So. I think it's best to utilize as many class 3s as you can. Class 2s are weak. Uh, see, that's the kind of stuff that happens when you get. What's this? Right about there, where, you, where she says frame shift anomaly detected. This is where, and then when she says that, that means you get the frick out of the system. Target destroyed. That's what you should do. Now we're definitely out here now. You hear all that stuff? That that means the big ships are coming in. Ah, oh, frick. See, and then they EMP you, uh, and you're done. Oh, where the heck are they? Now see these little swirly things out here in space? These shiny swirly things? They're missiles, and they come in and they, they fuck your shit up. This whole system of, this whole thing here is just, there's two sets of them. You don't even want to get close to them, because they just surround you and just wreck you. And that's why I just, I try to leave. I leave, this is, that's your cue to leave town. Where, where are the big guys at? I don't even see them. I don't know, but I'm, I don't even want to talk about it. I'm out of here. I've, I've blown up a hundred million dollars with this shit, figuring it out. So, just believe me when I tell you. <laughs> <I'm so> <laughs> Alright, nice. Now, we're at 89%. On our ship, it doesn't look like we're contaminated. Oh, look, we're blinking a little bit. Oh, we're at 88 percent now, so we're contaminated. This is no good. Taking damage. We need to decontaminate a moment. These limpets are essential. I mean, you can do Thargoid fighting without it, but it, it's a lot more touch and go. You might not get back with your bounties. But with these, you do. Okay, cool. We're neutralized. I heard her say that. Awesome. And now you know, they're repairing the ship a, bit, a little bit. Contamination limpet successful. Thank you. So, you can go, kinda, you can go like below half speed and these things will still work on your ship. So you can do this in, in a fight, but you can't have anybody in your targeted, targeted in your sights, otherwise it won't work. So, alright, boom, we may, we're, we're doing alright, 1.2 mil, so... Now I need to find another conflict zone. Looks like that's a good one. Of course, that might be the one I was just in, and I don't want to go back to that one. So. No, I guess not. There, we're, we were at this AX1 up here first, so now we're just going to go to this one. All right, let's rock and roll. Cannot comply. We're at 93%. Four, mm. 
they're around these planets so usually you get into one of these conflict zones there's another one on the opposite side of the planet so how are we doing on our bullets 1200 left so we got a lot of a lot of bullets left at least two more incursions before we got to go back and submit for repairs and new limpets Try to get some repairs in prior to uh, fighting. Someone won't come at us though. Got it, girl. Good to have you on the team. Got a couple percentage points of repair there. I mean, I probably could put one more pip in my systems because, you know, you don't seem to really run out of your multi cans, don't utilize a lot of you know, distributor power. Weapons I'm using aren't even engineered. My ship's got some engineering on it, but, but the weapons aren't uh, engineered. Target destroyed. And it is kicking the shit out of these Thargoids. left all right Come 
Yep. Hurt. That's we need it's time to leave. Then it uh oh. Yeah, we're getting out of here. You no, know, sometimes you just you can't. I mean, it's it's still EMP. But if you stay close to the center where they're all at, if you don't try to evacuate to an empty spot, these things, these little starlight things that are blinking there, missiles from the Thargoids, they surround you, and it's finito. Finito for you and your ship. Yeah. We're leaving. Goodbye. I think I lost one percentage point and all that. That's pretty damn good. All right, we still got one more fight in us before um, we've been there already. I try not to go back to the same conflict zones because the those mothership things are. I don't know, unless you got a Corvette or something like that to, to really fight them. Right? I think you might need to have rail guns or something like that on your stuff. Because... Multi-cannons don't do it with them. Or torpedoes or anything. And I noticed that if you target the mothership and you start lighting it up, then all those, their missile systems and all the other thargoids around the mothership start to attack you and they come in and swarm you and you just can't get away no matter what you do unless you have probably a really heavily engineered corvette to or a clipper maybe which I don't have either and that is why I am trying to make rank out here and I'm close, I think, to both. I might be able to... Lieutenant Commander, I think you should be able to get a freaking Corvette with that. I don't know, though. No one tells you anything about this game, you know? I mean, it's just big... Well, you know, everyone online, but... It's not like there's a... It's a thing that says, oh, yeah, you know. Right around the 90th percentile, you get a... Corvette and a Clipper access. Right now I am Earl status. And Lieutenant Commander is my next one. That's gotta be gotta be it, I hope. Alright, so this will be our last Thargoid invasion. And then I'll go back and turn in those missions along with getting my bounties and should be a decent payday. Because you get a lot of rep for turning in bounties too. We'll check it out. We'll look at my percentage prior to turning in everything. This is a federation system I'm in. So if you're trying to work for a Corvette or Clipper, so you do the Federation system or you do the Empire system that has the Thargoids in it, right? And you should be good. You should be able to get some points. This system is crawling with Thargoids. If we don't push them back, we'll be overrun. Think you can handle it? I think so. The first one's always usually the roughest one. The first, the first encounter, for whatever reason, they seem to hit you the most. So we're going to 
have to handle that a minute. Let's just deal with this guy a sec. And then we'll deal with our caustic situation. As you look at my ship's integrity, you'll see it start continue to go down until I get rid of this caustic damage. And you don't do that without those limits. And that's from flying through the debris field. Come on, get rid of it. Caustic substance neutralized. Thank you. Brain shift anomaly detected. You can't fly through their wave. That's what gives you that cost your situation. That and when they're low up, you can't come through their debris field. Ship up, let's go. Let me out of here. Okay, I put my my power into my pips and I'm rolling out. Alright, we we did fix the cost of damage. Nice. Alright. Let's just leave. <laughs> yep. Gotta go. Alright, let's see where we're at here. 2.4 mil, that's pretty good. And did we get all of our... It looks like... We are... What is this? One Thargoid Interceptor. I don't know what an Interceptor is exactly. Looks like I gotta get one more. So we get paid 1.1 more million bucks. Okay, well... We still have 500 or 600 bullets. So we can still do one more fight. We have to go to Glass, I think, is where we need to go drop off our stuff. Yeah, so we'll go to this conflict zone here.
we oh well hello see how aliens smash into planets. I mean, you know, if they actually can move faster than light, you know, you just look at your computer for a second and all of a sudden you're fucking smashed into the sun. <laughs> okay, let's go, baby. my recording doesn't shut off before I can get tuned in to show you my rep points. We'll do the rep thing here, but I gotta get this 1.1 million to make it, you know, worthwhile. I mean, we're looking at, what is it, 35 minutes, so this is probably a four or five million dollar, six million dollar, you know, endeavor we're on here, but in probably like a 45 minute time frame, but it is, there is a lot of reputation and influence that's gathered at each faction for this. So that's also important to quantify when you're, because a lot of times I mean, you'll do things for rep and influence regardless of the money. You know what I mean? All right, let's repair. That fixed us up like 
I will, I'm leaving. <laughs> Nice. That's right where I'm usually at. 2.8 mils. Of two, that was, that's pretty. 2.9 mils is pretty high in bounties for killing Thargoids. For me. Alright, cool. Now we're gonna head into Gloss here. We'll take a look at our status bar. We are contaminated at this point. We're at 92% as our federal rank or percentage however you want to look at it we'll look at it here Taking damage. I'm at 90% but I mean when you're at like 30% or 20% you got a long way to go to get into port you don't have limpets for decontamination uh, yeah it's a tragedy what are you talking about Okay. Okay. And then if you get docking request denied when you're freaking contaminated, that's a tragedy too. Oh, if you don't have these drones or these limpets. What's up? Let's go. Oh, okay, I gotta get this. Taking damage. Yes, please stop the caustic damage. Caustic substance neutralized. Docking request denied. Ah, uh, okay. Docking request denied. He left. Docking request denied. Docking request denied. There we go. Docking request granted. Commanders, that is why it is very important for you to go below deck when you're hitting the stations. Some people just sit on the deck. And you don't know what the other guy's got going on. I mean, I got cost of damage and been fighting Thargoids. I need you to be below deck so I can, like, possibly get docking permission please thank you docking successful engines disengaged all right not much damage that's good we have the small the small ports have no bullets so you're screwed on that but now let's take a look at this I'm at 92% right now. My federal, my, my federation rank for lieutenant commander. So we'll turn this stuff in. We will always take the reputation. Incoming message. Uh, rep is. Looks like that one mission didn't. I still. That must be. I gotta kill one of those motherships. And yeah, they can just keep that for a million bucks, I guess. All right. So then we'll go to our contact and turn in our bounties. All right. So what we got, and I went up one percentage point. See what I mean? <laughs> so that's how you do it. No, okay, no, two percentage points. Well, I've been working eight or nine months on this <laughs> to get to ninety-three percent. So I thought it was pretty decent, actually. All right, that is. 
my lesson here. Let me show you the ship. My hard points are level 3 AX multi cannon, level 3 AX multi cannon, level 3 missile launcher. And then I had to put this burst laser on because it won't allow me to. And I got an AX cannon on the other side too, but let's check this out. Like, if I try to take and. Um, I don't have the weapon here, it's in my other port. But if I try to put my other AX cannon on it, it won't let me. I can't have five AX on one ship. Only four. Alright. Good luck to you, Commanders. Commander Coop Prime signing off. Wishing you well.